Okay guys, I'm your host Asian MA. Today I'm giving you my UFC 126 main event prediction. I already tried making this video. Uh, I went over the 10 minute mark thinking it should upload from my iPod, but apparently that's not the case. So I'm just going to make this short and sweet. Uh, I'm just going to run it down really quick. Things I want to talk about, okay? I want to talk about the main event, the co-main event, and uh, Ryan Bader versus uh, John Jones. First, John Jones, Ryan Bader. Interesting matchup. I hope... Ryan Bader sticks to his game plan. Don't strike with a guy that has tree trunks for arms, man. He has a ridiculous reach. John Jones, he's going to hit you, you know, nighttime, daytime, anytime he wants, you know. This might be the first wrestler that we might see against John Jones that might take the fight to the ground and not strike with John Jones, you know. Ryan Bader has all the tools to win this fight, but I can't go against John Jones because John Jones has looked phenomenal. Call it the hype train, call it whatever you want. Uh, but I think John Jones is going to win that fight. But I think Ryan Bader, he might be the first wrestler to take him down and actually work ground and pound. Second fight I want to talk about, Rich Franklin, Forrest Griffin. Fight of the night, anyone. Fight of the night, anyone. Both guys are similar. Uh, they're technical, but they brawl. And uh, both guys show a lot of heart. Fight of the night, anyone. You know, that's all you can say, man. Got Rich Franklin winning that fight because uh, last time Forrest Griffin fought, it was like a year ago, and uh, he got annihilated, and he's been hiding under a rock promoting his book. So you, you have to go with the guy that has no ring rust, and uh, if you want to do MMA math, you know, you pick the guy that both guys have fought, Aaron Silva. Forrest Griffin did not look like he belonged in the ring with uh, Aaron Silva because he's so goddamn slow. Rich Franklin actually stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with him until he ate some knees, then fell to the ground, and lost his middleweight belt, okay? Finally, main event, okay. This is how I, I'm going to break it down. Both guys' styles, okay, really quick. Muay Thai, boxing, we go. And Silva, Muay Thai, boxing, Vitor Belfort. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, black belt, okay. Both guys have black belts. Now, if you just go by that, both guys have black belts, so that cancel each other's out. So, it really comes down to stand-up. And uh, I think both guys, in their head, they think they have advantage on the feet. You know, Vitor Belfort is known for his quick boxing, uh, quick are quick punches, lethal punches. They got knockout power written all over it. Aaron Silva is known for his striking. You know, if you've seen Aaron Silva, Aaron Silva fight, you know about his striking. Okay. Uh, going into the Chael Sun fight, I really did think Vitor Belfort would not stand a chance against Aaron Silva because the one clip that keeps replaying in my head when you say Vitor Belfort is him fighting Wanderlei Silva. Okay, he rocked. Wanderley Silva and just charged forward, running the straight path, uh, you know, no head movement, he's just bolting forward, just throwing left and right punches. And if that happened against Aaron Silva, Aaron Silva would step to the side and uh, counter punch him, you know, that's just how I picture it. And I just picture a quick knockout like that. But uh, after re-watching uh, what uh, Vitor Belfort did to Rich Franklin, I, I got to rethink things, man. Uh, Vitor Belfort, he's no joke, man. Uh, hard, fast punches, uh, quick reflexes, explosive, uh, and he's patient. That's the buff, That's one of the most important things. He's patient. He knows when to go in for the kill. He knows when to back off. He has good timing, man. Uh, that's why I was so excited to like hear this fight. It's gonna happen before the Chael Sutton fight. I was gonna like. I was getting pumped, and uh, I didn't think this fight was going to happen, to tell you the truth. I was I was getting kind of bummed out that I didn't think this fight was going to happen, because uh, Vitor got uh, injured, and he had to sit out on the sidelines, and that's where we got to see Chael Sonnen step in and, and uh, take the fight. Anderson Silva, let's talk about his striking, okay? His striking really relies on uh, his personal reflexes, you know, he, he has uh, natural timing, impeccable timing. And uh, he, he, his whole basing, his uh, strikes that uh, or no, his striking he's developed. It's all based on his timing and uh, you know his reflexes. And the thing is, that's how Roy Jones Jr. lost in boxing because he was messing up around with uh, weight cutting and screwed up his reflexes. Uh, and the thing is about Anna Silva, he's. He's the fresher fighter, you know, he has no ring rust, he didn't get injured, he went from Chael Sonnen fight to this fight. Vitor Belfort on the other hand, Rich Franklin, year layoff, okay? And the thing is about Vitor Belfort is, he, 
he fought at 195 pounds catch weight and then went like this okay when he started ufc heavyweight light heavyweight middleweight out of affliction then uh 195 then the year layoff okay so in that year layoff he's rehabbing he's trying to you know let his body heal itself so but there's probably like two or three months, if not more, he just sat around and probably got fat. You know, there's only so much uh, training you can do with the injured body part. So he probably got a little bit fat, and then he probably had a three-month training period, and then, uh, you know, probably like, you know, it, it, you can calculate the time, man. He's not going to step in this fight looking like Vitor Belfort Affliction, okay? If this is Vitor Belfort Affliction, uh, hands down, I'd be like, this is a 50-50 fight, you know, either guy can take it. But personally, going to this fight with the long layoff, making 185 pounds for the very first time in the UFC uh, from the long layoff, you know, those are the two main factors, man. I give this fight 60-40 for uh, Anderson Silva, you know. Uh, I do think, though, if it goes past three rounds, it's all Anderson Silva. I can't see Vitor Belfort winning uh, past that point because I think the cardio is going to catch up to him. I don't think Vitor Belfort, you know, his his fights usually end early, but I just can't see him having the cardio with that long layoff. You know, ring rust, I believe in ring rust now. After Rampage lost to Rashad, you know, ring rust is real. Uh, the first two rounds, Vitor Belfort has a really good chance to win. I still have to go with Aaron Silva because he's looked so impressive in his whole UFC career. Undefeated, man. How can you go against a guy that's undefeated in, in his UFC career? You know, same like John Jones. Until either guy loses, you can't go against them because they look so goddamn good. Uh, I can. I'm one of the few people that'll acknowledge that their opponent has all the abilities to take him out. Because you know, going in the Chael Sonnen fight, I was the one of the few people that said Chael stood a chance. Everyone said, "Oh, Aaron Silva will stuff a takedown and just annihilate Chael Sonnen." They didn't acknowledge how good a wrestler Chael Sonnen is. Uh, so I'm acknowledging Vitor Belfort has the tools to beat Aaron Silva. Uh, but, no, I just don't think the, the two factors that are holding Vitor Belfort off is the long layoff and the weight cut. Rumor has it, uh, for the fight with Rich Franklin, 195, Vitor Belfort was struggling to make 195. Who knows, maybe he was injured going in that fight, maybe he got the flu or something, but he was having troubles making 195. And, uh... It's going to be interesting. Saturday night, uh, make sure you go watch it on pay-per-view. Uh, yeah, that's my video. Asian MMA signing out. Oh, before I go, man. Thumbs up if you agree with me. Aaron Silva's going to win. Thumbs down if you disagree and think Vitor Belfort, the phenom, is going to pull it off and become the new middleweight champ. Uh, damn, it's going to be a good fight. If it does hit the ground, I'm going to add one more thing, okay? If it does hit the ground, I think Vitor Belfort is the guy that's going to be on top because, you know, you just look at their body builds, okay? Anna Silva's long and lengthy, higher center of gravity. Vitor Belfort, when you look at him, he's more bulk, you know? So he has a lower center of gravity. I think he's the more explosive one. Uh, and I think he should be able to take down Anna Silva if he wants to go for the double leg. But once again, I don't think that's going to happen because both guys have, they think in their heads they have the advantage on the feet. And I, that's how I look at it too. So that's my video prediction, yeah. I'll be back for my Strike Force Heavyweight Grand Prix predictions, thoughts. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty damn cool, man. Thank you.